Hello again, this is Esan. Uh, we were working with the general version of the initial problem, which was, uh, as we have seen, and we have just solved the first part where we now know how to move from this location to the end of the wall, even if the wall end condition changes. Now, we were talking about uh, on this problem that if we have a beeper here um, or we can have a maybe beeper here and not have a beeper here or we can have a beeper here um, not have a beeper here and have another beeper here and how can we do something so that um, um, so that uh, we can start from here, go to this point in an automatic way uh, and uh, pick all the beepers if there is any beeper. So it, we will only pick a beeper if there is a beeper. That is the idea. Um, so if we look at this problem, so let's say uh, pick beeper multi beeper dot w we save this environment and we save it like this and if we run this code you see there is a problem because the carol moves from here to here to here then tries to pick the beeper and there is no beeper so is there a safe way to pick the beeper so uh, so it will only it moves it checks if there is a beeper if there is a beeper it picks if it does if there is no beeper it does nothing and then moves to the next position and something like this if we can do something in that case it's amazing so it's very similar to moving from here to the wall and while moving towards the wall it checks every position for beeper can we do something like this so um, we first check is there something super carol can do for us well, if we check, Super Carol has a command called beepers present. Are there beepers on this corner? So if there is a beeper in the corner, in that case, it will pick. Uh, so if there is a beeper in one position, it will pick. That is the idea. Um, so what we can do is basically uh, create a method, oh, sorry, create a command using which we will Pick beepers as long as there is a beeper okay so let's try that and for that we are going to introduce another construct called the if statement the if statement is very simple um, so we want to do some a new command safe beeper safe picking of beeper so uh, this is something that we want to create and the idea is we go to one position and we check is there a beeper present if there is a beeper present then we pick the beeper so we are going to use the if construct in java which is if uh, beepers present then we will pick something pick beeper so now we are working with this idea carol is here it checks if there is a beeper if there is a beeper it picks the beeper moves it checks a beeper if there is a beeper it picks the beeper it moves so and it moves till to the wall so maybe we can merge move to the wall and safely pick beeper together and create something let's see so our idea is we are going to use move to the wall idea and use safe beeper together in a smart way so that Carol can move from here to here automatically and if he finds any beeper along the way it will pick the beeper let's do it so for that we create a new command void uh, move to wall and pick beepers <coughs> So, while the front is clear, 
we moved the wall. So we moved the wall. What it does is basically starts here and moves to th this point at, and stops because it finds a wall over here. And um, before making the move, it actually tries to pick a beaver. So it does this. So what it means is it initially goes here. It's initially at this position, check for a beeper. If there is a beeper present, it picks it. If there is no beeper present, present, it doesn't do anything. Then it moves to the next point and then checks again. If the front is clear, uh, so this is the idea. Uh, <clears throat> do you see how it's working? Let's try this. So in this case, we change this and we remove all this part of the code and we place this one here with a semicolon at the end and we run our program and see if it works. So we edit the world, we don't say it, basically we load the world and it's big multi beeper, we open and we do this. <coughs> Now you see it was working fine, but you see something happened. It did not pick the beeper over here. We'll look into this problem a little later, but let's see if we edit this world, we change this beeper position here, we change the beeper position here, we change a be we put a beeper here, uh, we remove the beeper from here, we remove the beeper from here, we bring Carol to this position, and we save the world, and we start. Look at this. Now it is working. See, previously it was not working, but for this it is working. Basically what happened was, if we look at this code, here, this is called off by one bug. Off by one bug oh ball where the idea is if the front is clear if the front is clear then it enters this position and makes the move but here when it reaches this position the front is no longer clear so it does not enter this position Therefore, it doesn't do this as well. It directly reaches this part of the program and goes out of this move to wall and pick beeper state and starts executing from here. This is called off by one. And one way to solve it is basically just place this thing over here. So it was we were just missing one situation. That was the idea. So what we can do is <clears throat> save this program, uh, close this, and uh, we run this again, Carol new environment. And uh, what we do is uh, we load the world, which is multi beeper like this. And we uh, let's say we put edit world and we put another beeper over here. We save it. In the previous code, this beeper would not have been picked up. However, in this case, let's see how it works. Let's start the program. So it works. Nice. Now what happens if I change this world into this position? So I change it. Uh, so I remove this, I remove this line, remove this line, and we create a new world like this. And we create beepers here, here, here. And then um, we remove a beeper from here. We place Carol back here. We save the world and we start the program. Do you think it will work? Let's see, I think it will. 
Nice. So you see, the world has changed, but our program is still so general that it works. Voila. But there is one problem. <clears throat> Imagine that we have a situation like this. We have three beepers here, one beeper here, one beeper here, uh, one beeper here. Let's say we have two beepers here. And then we had one beeper here. And we don't have any beeper here. Let's say we remove this. We put Carol back. We save the world. We start the program. And now you see that everything was working, but it could only pick one beeper. Why do you think is this problem? Uh, this is something for you to figure out. Uh, because that will create a very general program. It will clean the first uh, street, it will move up the avenue, it will turn right, move, place the beeper and move to the wall. So uh, we'll, we'll solve this problem in the next video. Uh, so far, I hope it's working for you guys. Thank you.